Hello everyone, my name is Vertigo, and these are my way too early predictions for Daytona. First up, I want to say that I will not be guessing what will happen in the 2023 ARCA race at Daytona, the Clash at the Coliseum, or the duels, because I can't be asked. However, I will be trying to predict the next era Energy 250, the beef it's what's for dinner 300, and of course, the who will be in a horrific airborne crash 500. Just kidding. <laughs> I hope. We'll see. These races being Trucks Xfinity and Cup for the NASCAR Motorsports Series. Today I will be focusing solely on the next era Energy 250. I will also be introducing a sleeper pick for every series. First off, starting with Trucks, my top picks to be competing for the win at the end will be Chase Purdy, Corey Heim, Zane Smith, and my sleeper pick, Raja Karuth. Starting off with Chase Purdy. I have a lot of reasons why I think he will be a contender throughout the entire race. Chase Purdy has not done much in trucks over the past few years. He has no wins in any high-ranking series. However, he has amassed top 10 top 5s and 14 top 10s in ARCA, all of which were in the 2018 season, and 5 top 10s in trucks, 4 of which were in 2021 and 2022, driving for Hattori Racing's horrendous number 61 truck, 2 at Gateway and 2 at Talladega. In the 2022 Talladega race, Chase would run up front for most of the second half of the race before being shuffled back to mid-pack before the race would end in an anticlimactic finish under yellow, which in my opinion should have been won by Brett Holmes, but whatever. Chase Purdy would end up finishing 7th, his second Talladega top 10 in 2 years, and nearly matching his best finish of 6th in the 2021 Gateway race. For the 2023 season, Chase Purdy will be joining the, num the dominant number 4 KBM truck which has amassed 2 wins, 10 top 5s, and 15 top 10s in 2022, and 5 wins in 2021, both with John Hunter Nemechek. Purdy has the equipment, he has the skill, I think he can get it done. Moving on to the former KBM part-time E, Corey Heim. I think he has just as much, if not more of a shot than Chase Purdy does at getting the win. Corey Heim coming off a part-time season in trucks, fresh out of ARCA with two wins at Atlanta and Gateway, two pulls, six top fives, a 14th place point finish, 10 top 10s in just 16 races. He has also amassed nine wins and 41 top 10s in ARCA over four seasons, only one season of which he ran full-time in 2021, finishing runner-up to Ty Gibbs by 37 points. Corey Heim is a very impressive driver in my opinion. He will be heading to David Gilliland Racing's newly rebranded Tricon Garage. David Gilliland's son, Todd Gilliland, won for the team at Knoxville, along with Haley Deegan, Taylor Gray, and Tanner Gray, all amassing multiple top 10s and top 15s over the 2022 season. Therefore, I believe that Corey Heim will likely impress during his first season with Tricon Garage, and who knows, he might just get his first full-time season victory at Daytona. I would not be the least bit surprised due to his abilities at the reconfigured Atlanta Super Speedway in 2022. For the penultimate driver, I picked the 2022 NASCAR Truck Series champion, Zane Smith. Zane won the 2022 NASCAR Truck Series championship with 4 wins, 1 pole, 14 top 5s, and 19 top 10s over 23 races. Zane was no doubt a consistent driver over the 2022 season with stats like that, and what makes it even more impressive in my opinion, he did it with Front Row Motorsports. They had an affiliation with DGR in 2022, so take that with a grain of salt, but those statistics with a borderline new team are very impressive. He also won three prior races, all for GMS Racing, before they really got their feet off the ground. I believe Zane helped them get their feet off the ground. In three super speedway races, he would finish top 5 and 2, but would ultimately finish 17th at Talladega due to, well, having a shit race. However, at Daytona, he would pick up his first win of the season. Zane will stay with FRM for the 2023 season, and is allegedly making select cup and Xfinity stars for the team, including the Daytona 500, in what I can assume to be the number 38 cup car, or the number 34, it's to be determined. Either way, Zane has proved himself at the super speedways, and I believe he will also be a threat to win at Daytona. Finally, my sleeper pick for the 2023 Next Era Energy 250 is Raja Karuth. Raja had a somewhat up and down 2022 season in NASCAR. In ARCA, Karuth would amount 8 top 5s and 14 top 10s, and a 3rd place points finish in his first full time ARCA series. Not bad for a rookie. In trucks, Raja would run four races, all with Spire Motorsports, with the best finish of 11th at Gateway. This sounds good, but the other three races were not so bright. 
Raja would finish 25th at Richmond and 32nd and 34th at Phoenix and Bristol, both due to DNFs due to crashes. Raja would also make 7 starts in the Xfinity series, which was more of the same. However, Raja would put together a solid couple finishes to close off the season. A 12th at Martinsville and a 17th at Phoenix for Tommy Joe Martins. I personally believe that Raja will do quite respectable in his new 2023 number 24 GMS Racing Chevrolet. With a few top 5s, a few top 10s, and maybe a win. is definitely not out of the realm of possibility. What better place than Daytona? Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more NASCAR content soon. Peace.